Hi everyone, my name is Lucy. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Scrubs and Arts. And so tonight, I'm going to do a beautiful Dutch pour. So on a 15 by 60 inch canvas, I'm going to show you how I lay my colors, how I move the paints around the canvas, and just go through my process with you all. I'm finally happy to be able to share this with you. There'll be more to come. And if you like my video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and tune in to tonight's video and more to come afterwards. And so let's go. During this part of the video, you'll just see me spreading the paint. I'm using Titanium White by Amsterdam that I mix with water only to just spread across the canvas. This is the same consistency as the rest of my paints. This way it's easier to move all the paints across the canvas. And so the key thing is consistency, but also making sure that as you spread across the canvas, it is even and you also include their sides. I'm going to speed up the video, then I'll be right back. The first color that I'm going to be laying is an eggplant type color that I mixed myself. It's a dark purple kind of color and I laid that first because I noticed that when I use this and spread out my colors, it leaves like a purple outline along the paint and along like the petals is what I would call them when doing a Dutch pour and I really like that effect and so that's why I use it first for this particular painting. The next color is a blend of various reds that I used. Um, the brands I used for this one specifically, I think, were from Arteza. Now, you see that when I mixed the paint a little bit in that bottle, that I didn't do a very good job this time because usually I use like a wooden tool or something that just, just help, you know, loosen up that paint, but it came out a little bit clumpy. And so when a paint comes out clumpy like this, sometimes it can affect how it dries, which if it's not the same consistency, there may be some cracking, but you can always fix that with some gold leafing or some gold paint or embellish it however you want to. But that's why that one didn't come out as fluid as the other ones will. The next color that I'm putting down is gold. And for this one, it was um, Deco Art 24K. And I mix that with water just like the other paints as well too. But you see how nice and smooth it comes out compared to that clumpy red that came out before that one. Um, and so after I use the gold, I'm going to use another custom mixed color. So this is going to be a greenish, bluish hue, but it's very soft. And I really like it. Um, and the way I came about with that was just a combination of various leftover paints and previous pours that I've done and scraped the paint off my table, put it into a container, and then once it was almost full, I mixed it up and this color came out and it is gorgeous. And so you'll see how it plays out into the paintings also. Next up is going to be a lime green kind of color. And um, I believe it was Liquitex has that brand. It's like a lime green kind of color, maybe like a chartreuse almost. And that was that is what I'm gonna be laying up next. It is nice and bright. It has like a nice sheen to it. And it gives the painting a really nice effect. And you'll see that later on. But that's one of my favorite colors. And after this one, I'm going to be laying down a pinkish kind of color. And it it's almost like a bright pink, but it's not one that I bought from the store. It was one again that I mixed up various leftovers and a nice bright hue turned out and it's gorgeous also. And I think that one's almost done so I'm kind of sad about that. But once I lay that one down, I'm going to top off the painting with titanium white again. And so you'll see that in a little bit. All right, so I'm done talking for now, but I will mm -hmm. catch up with you guys towards the end of the video.
Thank you for watching. I will see you next week.